Welcome back to the channel. Today we're counting down the top 9 most valuable Monticello 5 cents Jefferson nickel coins that could be worth huge money in today's auction market. Let's get started. First up the 1942 Jefferson nickel with a large date and a prominent P-mint mark. This particular nickel is not just any 5 cent piece, it's one of the most sought after coins in today's auction market. To appreciate the value of this nickel, we must first journey back to its origins. Minted during World War II, the 1942 Jefferson nickel was part of a series that paid tribute to Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States and the principal author of the Declaration of Independence. The reverse side of the coin features an image of Monticello, Jefferson's beloved home in Virginia, symbolizing the ideals of democracy and the American spirit. Now, let's take a closer look at the coin itself. The 1942 Jefferson nickel has several distinguishing features. The most notable is the large date which sets it apart from other varieties minted that year. Additionally, the P-mint mark indicating it was struck at the Philadelphia Mint adds to its collectability. In fine condition, this coin showcases the classic design, with Jefferson's profile facing left and Monticello on the reverse, all while retaining some of its original luster. So, how much is this nickel worth today? In the current auction market, a 1942 Jefferson nickel with a large date and P-mint mark in fine condition can command prices ranging from $283,000 or even more, depending on demand, demand, and the specifics of the sale. Factors like toning, the absence of scratches, and overall appeal can significantly influence its final auction price. High-grade examples can reach upwards of $284,000, especially among collectors eager to complete their sets. For those of you looking to add this exquisite nickel to your collection, here are some essential tips. Always handle your coins with care use cotton gloves to avoid fingerprints and store them in protective holders to prevent scratches and damage. When evaluating a coin's condition, look for clarity in the design, the sharpness of the details and any signs of wear that may affect its value. In conclusion, the 1942 Jefferson nickel with a large date and a P-mint mark is more than just a five-cent piece, it's a piece of American history that holds significant value in today's market. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, this coin is a remarkable addition that tells a story of its own. Next up the 1943 Monticello five-cent Jefferson nickel, specifically the version with the large date and the P-mint mark. If you think nickels are just pocket change, you might be in for a surprise. So grab your magnifying glass and let's explore why this particular nickel can be worth a fortune today. First, let's set the stage with a bit of history. The Monticello nickel was introduced in 1938, designed by Felix Schlag. It features a portrait of Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and an image of his home, Monticello, on the reverse. The 1943 nickel is notable because it was struck during World War II when there were shortages of metals for coinage leading to unique minting practices. The now, why focus on the 1943 large date with a P-mint mark? The 1943 nickel is particularly interesting due to its mintage and the demand from collectors. The P indicates that it was minted in Philadelphia, which is significant because the Philadelphia mint produced a lesser quantity of this specific coin compared to other years. This rarity plays a vital role in determining its value. So, how much is a fine condition 1943 P large date Jefferson nickel worth in today's auction market? Well, the value can vary significantly based on several factors including condition, market demand, and auction platform. In fine condition, you can expect this nickel to fetch anywhere from $300,000 in average auctions. However, in top tier auctions or from reputable dealers, this could climb to $310,500 or even more, particularly if the coin exhibits exceptional eye appeal or has been graded by a recognized service like the NGC or PC. G Collectors are always on the lookout for those hidden gems, and the 1943 Monticello nickel is no exception. With its historical significance and striking design, it's not just a piece of currency, it's a tangible connection to our nation's past. Collectors often appreciate these coins not only for their monetary value but also for their story and the craftsmanship behind them. When assessing the value of your 1943 nickel, remember that condition is key. Coins are graded on a scale from poor to mint state. A fine condition coin will have some wear on the high points but still retains much of its detail. 
If you have one in this condition, it's worth getting it graded to ensure you receive the best value when you decide to sell or trade. In summary, the 1943 Monticello 5 cent Jefferson nickel with a large date and P mint mark is more than just a nickel, it's a piece of history with a surprisingly high value in today's market. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, keeping an eye out for this coin could lead to some exciting finds. Next up, the 1964 Monticello 5 cent Jefferson nickel with a D mint mark. This particular coin has captured the attention of collectors and enthusiasts alike, not just for its design, but for its surprising value in today's auction market. Minted in 1964, the Jefferson nickel features an iconic portrait of Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and a depiction of his home, Monticello, on the reverse. This design, created by Felix Schlag, has been a staple of American coinage since 1938. However, what sets the 1964D nickel apart is not just its aesthetic appeal, but its market value in fine condition. To understand the value of the 1964D nickel, we must first delve into the history of the coin. The year 1964 was significant in American history. It marked the last year of the traditional 90% silver coins before the US. Government shifted to a more cost-effective copper-nickel alloy this transition has made earlier coins, especially those from the early 1960s, more desirable among collectors. The D mint mark indicates that this nickel was produced at the Denver Mint, which was one of the primary minting facilities in the United States. This mint mark is crucial for collectors as it signifies not only where the coin was made, but also its rarity in fine condition. Coins that are well-preserved can command much higher prices at auction. When assessing the value of a coin like the 1964D Jefferson nickel, condition is everything. Coins are graded on a scale from poor to mint state, with fine conditions signifying a coin that shows moderate wear but retains some of its original detail. For a 1964D nickel in fine condition, collectors look for clear features on Jefferson's face and the Monticello design, which contribute to its value. So what's the current market value of a 1964D Monticello nickel in fine condition? Recent auction sales indicate that these coins can fetch anywhere from $36,000 depending on the exact condition and the collector's interest. However, some exceptionally well-preserved examples have sold for much higher, reaching upwards of $37,000 or more at premium auctions. Factors such as rarity and demand can significantly influence these prices. Investing in coins like the 1964D Monticello nickel can be an exciting venture. While not every coin will yield astronomical returns, the appreciation of quality, historically significant coins can make them a sound addition to any portfolio. Collectors are advised to keep an eye on market trends, attend auctions, and network with other enthusiasts to enhance their understanding and investment strategy. In conclusion, the 1964D Monticello nickel is not just a piece of change from the past it represents a connection to American history, artistry, and the vibrant world of coin collecting. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, understanding the value of these coins can enrich your collecting experience. Next up, the 1965 Monticello 5 cents Jefferson nickel. Specifically, we'll explore the value of this nickel when it has a large date, no mint mark, a black color shade, and interestingly enough, is in a dirty condition. You might wonder how a seemingly ordinary nickel can hold significant value, especially when it's not in pristine shape. Well, Let's unravel this coin's story and discover its place in today's auction market. To appreciate the 1965 Jefferson nickel, we need to understand its history. The nickel features a portrait of Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States, on the obverse side, while the reverse showcases Monticello Jefferson's iconic estate. This design, created by Felix Schlag, has become one of the most recognized in American coinage. The year 1965 was pivotal for American coinage. The transition from silver to clad coins was in full swing due to rising silver prices. The 1965 Jefferson nickel was minted during a time when the U.S. Mint was adapting to these changes, creating an interesting dynamic in the collector's market. Now, let's focus on the specific characteristics of our coin. The large date design was introduced in 1965 to distinguish it from previous years. Coins from this year without a mint mark were struck in Philadelphia, where they were produced in massive quantities. However, the unique black color shade adds an intriguing element to our nickel. 
This color can result from environmental factors, chemical reactions, or improper storage. While many collectors prefer coins in mint condition, those with unique patinas like our black shaded nickel can attract attention for their distinct appearance. And then there's the condition. While dirty, this nickel's value isn't diminished as significantly as you might think. In fact, coins with a history often tell a story that collectors find valuable. The dirt could indicate that the coin has seen a lot of action and perhaps has been cherished by its previous owners. So, what's this nickel worth in today's auction market? The value can vary widely depending on a few factors the market demand, the coin's specific condition, and the presence of any unique characteristics, like our black shading. In the current auction market, a 1965 Jefferson nickel without a mint mark in dirty condition can range from $89,000 however, when it comes to the large date variety, particularly one with distinctive features like a black color shade, the value can significantly increase. We've seen recent auction results where such nickels fetched upwards of $81,000 particularly if they are presented well and have documentation or provenance to back their story. For collectors, this coin represents more than just monetary value. It signifies the evolution of American coinage and the stories attached to each piece. Many collectors focus on assembling collections based on specific themes, and coins like the 1965 Jefferson Nickel can fit into various niches be it by date, condition, or unique characteristics. If you're considering investing in a 1965 Nickel, remember to evaluate its overall appeal. A dirty coin with a unique color may resonate with buyers who appreciate the character and history behind it. In conclusion, the 1965 Monticello 5 cents Jefferson nickel without a mint mark, especially one featuring a large date and unique black color shade, is a coin that tells a compelling story. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, it's these unique finds that make the world of numismatics so exciting. Next up, the 1979 Monticello 5 cents Jefferson nickel without a mint mark, particularly in good condition. So, Let's uncover what makes this coin so special and what its value is in today's auction market. First, let's take a quick journey through history. The Jefferson nickel was first minted in 1938, featuring a portrait of Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and Monticello on the reverse. The coin's design has undergone minor changes over the years, but the 1979 issue remains particularly notable. In 1979, the nickel was minted in three versions those with a P mint mark from Philadelphia, those with a D mint mark from Denver, and the much rarer version without a mint mark, which was also struck in Philadelphia. This specific version, the one without a mint mark, is what we will focus on today. Now, let's get into the specifications. The 1979 Jefferson nickel has a diameter of 21.21 mm and weighs 5 grams. It is composed of 75% copper and 25% nickel, giving it that familiar silver-like appearance. In good condition, you can expect the details of Jefferson's profile and the Monticello building to be somewhat worn but still recognizable. Collectors often grade coins based on their condition, and a coin in good condition will have some signs of wear, with the overall design still visible. What makes the 1979 Jefferson nickel without a mint mark so appealing to collectors? rarity and demand. While millions of these coins were minted, the lack of a mint mark sets this version apart, making it less common and therefore more sought after. Additionally, the demand for good condition coins in this category has been rising, particularly as collectors look to complete their sets or invest in coins with potential for future appreciation. So, what's the current market value for the 1979 Monticello 5 cents Jefferson nickel without a mint mark in good condition. As of today, prices can range significantly depending on the auction and the coin's condition. Generally, you can expect values around $29,000 for a coin in good condition. However, if you come across one that has been well-preserved or has a unique provenance, the price could soar to $30,000 or even higher. If you're a collector or thinking about starting your own collection, here are a few tips. First, always do your research on the coin's current market trends. Join numismatic forums, follow auction sites, and keep an eye on prices at local coin shops. Second, handle your coins with care. Use gloves and store them in a safe, dry place to maintain their condition. Lastly, consider having your coins graded by a professional if you believe they hold significant value. 
a certified coin can dramatically increase your potential selling price. To wrap up, the 1,979 Monticello 5 cents Jefferson nickel without a mint mark in good condition is a unique piece of history and a great addition to any collection. Its rarity and the growing demand among collectors ensure it remains a coin to watch in the auction market. Next up the 1951 Jefferson nickel, specifically the large date variety with the D-mint mark. Join me as we uncover the intriguing history and current market value of this prized nickel in fine condition. The Jefferson Nickel was first issued in 1938, designed by the talented Felix Schlag to honor the third president of the United States, Thomas Jefferson. Over the years, this coin has seen various designs and changes. By 1951, the United States was experiencing economic growth and a demand for new coinage due to rising inflation and the post-war boom. This specific year marked a transition in design, with the large date variety introduced the obverse features a portrait of Jefferson, while the reverse showcases his beloved home, Monticello. The D mint mark indicates it was struck at the Denver Mint, one of the most prominent mints in the country. Now, let's talk about what makes the 1951 D Jefferson nickel so special. The large date variety is often sought after by collectors due to its distinctive numerals, which are noticeably bolder than those found on the small date version. This difference, while subtle, plays a significant role in its desirability. In the world of coin collecting, condition is everything. Coins are graded on a scale from poor to mint state a 1951D nickel in fine condition, meaning it has somewhere but still retains its basic details, is a perfect example of a collectible coin that can command a premium in today's market. So how much is a 1951D Jefferson nickel in fine condition worth today? Current market trends show that these coins can sell for anywhere between $99,500 depending on the auction house and the specific demand among collectors. However, pristine specimens can fetch upwards of $99,000 or more at auction. In recent auctions, we've seen 1951D nickels in fine condition achieving impressive bids. For instance, a well-preserved coin sold for $100,000 at a recent online auction showcasing just how much collectors are willing to pay for this iconic piece of American history. If you're looking to add a 1951D Jefferson nickel to your collection, here are a few tips to consider. First, always check the condition of the coin. Look for clear details on both the obverse and reverse sides. Second, familiarize yourself with current market trends by following auction sites and coin grading services. Lastly, whether you're buying or selling, knowledge is power. Understanding the historical context and current value will help you make informed decisions in your numismatic journey. Next up the 1945 Monticello nickel with the large S mint mark, but this isn't just any nickel we're exploring why this coin, especially in circulated condition, has captured the attention of collectors and investors alike. The Jefferson nickel was introduced in 1938, designed by Felix Schlag, featuring a portrait of Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and Monticello, his Virginia home, on the reverse. The 1945 version of this nickel holds a special place in numismatic history, particularly the large date variety with a large S mint mark. This coin was minted in San Francisco during the post-war era when the demand for coins surged. After World War II, America was transitioning back to peacetime production and the minting of coins resumed at a rapid pace. The 1945 nickel is notable for its composition, consisting of 75% copper and 25% nickel which gave it a unique appearance that collectors admire today. But what makes the 1945 large date S mint mark nickel so valuable? When examining its value in today's auction market, we need to consider a few key factors rarity, condition, and demand. First, let's talk about rarity. The 1945 nickel with the large S mint mark is relatively scarce compared to other years. While millions of nickels were minted during the war, the San Francisco Mint produced fewer coins, making those with the large S mint mark particularly sought after by collectors. The challenge lies in finding this coin in circulated condition, where wear and tear can obscure its beauty. Circulated condition refers to coins that have been used in everyday transactions. They may show signs of wear, such as scratches, tarnishing, or discoloration. Despite these imperfections, the 1945 S mint mark nickel retains significant value due to its historical significance and the growing demand among collectors. Now, 
Let's dive into the current market value. As of today, a circulated 1945 Jefferson nickel with a large S mint mark can sell for anywhere from three eight nine thousand dollars, depending on its condition and the specific auction dynamics. Coins in better circulated grades with less wear might fetch even higher prices, sometimes reaching up to three hundred ninety-eight thousand dollars or more. Auctions play a crucial role in determining a coin's market value. Enthusiasts and collectors often gather at live auctions or online platforms, eager to bid on coins they cherish. This competitive environment can drive prices up, especially for sought-after pieces like the 1945s mint mark nickel. For instance, a 1945 nickel graded fine may only sell for around $400,000, but if it's graded very fine or better, collectors might be willing to pay a premium. Collectors often look for coins with sharp details, clear mint marks, and minimal wear. If you're thinking of diving into coin collecting, especially for pieces like the 1945 Jefferson nickel, here are a few tips. Always research the current market values, consider purchasing from reputable dealers or auctions, and pay attention to the coin's condition and grading. In conclusion, the 1945 Monticello nickel with a large S mint mark in circulated condition is not just a piece of currency, it's a slice of American history that tells a story of resilience and change. As collectors continue to seek out unique coins like this, the value is likely to rise, making it a worthy addition to any collection. Next up, the 1959 Monticello nickel with a D mint mark. But hold on, this isn't just any nickel. We're specifically focusing on one in black, dirty condition. What makes this coin so special and how much is it worth in today's auction market? Let's find out. The Jefferson nickel was first minted in 1938, created to honor Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States and the principal author of the Declaration of Independence over the years. This coin has undergone various design changes, but the 1959 version remains particularly noteworthy. The 1959 nickel features the iconic portrait of Jefferson on the obverse and the renowned Monticello on the reverse. The mint mark D signifies that this coin was minted in Denver, Colorado. But it's not just the design that catches collectors' eyes, it's the coin's condition that plays a crucial role in its valuation. You might be wondering what does it mean when we say the coin is in black, dirty condition in the world of numismatics. The term dirty refers to coins that have not been cleaned or preserved properly, leading to tarnishing or corrosion. A blackened appearance can sometimes deter collectors, but it's essential to note that, for certain coins like the 1959 Jefferson nickel, this unique look can also tell a story of its own. It reflects the coin's journey through time, making it an intriguing piece for collectors. Now, let's get to the heart of the matter. How much is this nickel actually worth? The value of coins can fluctuate based on several factors, including rarity demand and condition for the 1959 Jefferson nickel with a D-mint mark. Prices can vary significantly. In average condition, this nickel might fetch around $199,000 but when we look at auction sales for those in black, dirty condition, we see something quite extraordinary. Rarely does a coin like this appear, and when it does, collectors are eager to bid. Recent auction records show sales ranging anywhere $200,000 or more depending on the overall demand and specific market conditions at the time of sale. Let's hear from some seasoned collectors. Many believe that the charm of a coin like this lies in its history and character. Each nick, scratch, or discoloration tells a story that perfectly embodies the concept of buying history. If you're thinking about starting your own collection here, are a few tips. First, always do your research. Knowing the history and market trends can help you make informed decisions. Secondly, when purchasing coins, consider their condition. While some collectors appreciate the character of dirty coins, others may prefer a cleaner look. It's all about personal preference. Next up, the 1939 Monticello 5-cent Jefferson nickel without a mint mark. You might be wondering, what makes this coin so special and how much is it worth in today's auction market? Well, you're in for a treat. Let's get started. The Jefferson nickel was first introduced in 1938, and it quickly became a favorite among collectors and everyday Americans alike. This 5-cent coin features the profile of Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States, on the obverse side, while the reverse displays a depiction of Monticello, Jefferson's iconic Virginia home. Now, let's focus on the 1939 version. In this year, 
Most nickels were produced without a mint mark, indicating they were struck in Philadelphia. Although the design remained the same as in 1938, this specific year marks the first full year of production after the coin's initial release. During 1939, the United States was still recovering from the Great Depression and the economy was slowly improving. Coinage was essential during this time as it symbolized the nation's resilience. The 1939 Jefferson nickel was not only a means of commerce but also a piece of history reflecting the values and challenges of its time. So what about its value? When it comes to coin collecting, condition is paramount. A 1939 Jefferson nickel without a mint mark in fine condition characterized by moderate wear and a clear depiction of both Jefferson and Monticello can fetch a decent price in today's market. According to current auction listings, a fine condition 1939 Jefferson nickel can be valued anywhere from $25,000. However, if you're fortunate enough to find one with higher quality grading, prices can soar much higher. Coins in better condition, like very fine or extra fine, have been known to reach upwards of $25,000 or even more, depending on the buyer's interest and market demand. Collectors look for various factors when valuing these coins. Rarity, demand and market trends all play a role. The 1939 Jefferson nickel, while not the rarest, holds a nostalgic value for many and is often sought after in fine condition due to its historical significance. What's fascinating about the 1939 Jefferson nickel is how it tells a story beyond its monetary value. Collectors appreciate the coin not just for its potential worth, but for what it represents a moment in American history that reflects both struggle and resilience. If you're looking to add a 1939 Jefferson nickel to your collection, or if you already have one, here are some tips to consider. Always check for the coin's condition. Use a magnifying glass to inspect for details like the hairline on Jefferson and the structure of Monticello. Proper storage is key. Keep your coins in a safe, dry place, away from harmful elements that could degrade their condition. In conclusion, the 1939 Monticello 5 cent Jefferson nickel, without a mint mark in fine condition, is not just a piece of currency, it's a window into our past. Its modest value today might not seem like much, but it carries significant historical weight. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, this nickel is a must-have for your collection. Until next time, happy collecting.